Images of queers in film and TV have had a long and complicated history. The 1990s represents a turning point in queer visibility. While piecing together these films and TV shows, I thought were important. I hope others can go and watch these as well. Starting off with the film Different From Others by Weimar Republic, released in 1919, was partially funded from the Institute for Sexual Science. The movie is believed to be the first pro-gay film in the world. Different From the Others is a very important film because this is the first time that a gay character is portrayed on film that we know of. It is passionate and it is angst-ridden. For me, the film is still surprisingly modern, not just because of its topic. The relations, the way they are depicted in the film, I think speaks to audiences today, too. The next movie that I decided to look at was Paris is Burning, 1990. It's also known for the tool for gay and trans youth. The movie showcased the New York ball scene parties, competitions where queer people performed. This movie influenced the TV show RuPaul's Drag Race. I really liked looking into this movie because I've gone to drag shows before and I've never seen any clips from this movie and I found it really inspiring. I always had hopes of being a big star. And then I look, as you get older, you, you aim a little lower. And I just say, well, yeah, you still might make an impression. Everybody wants to leave something behind them, some impression, some mark up on the world. And then you think you left a mark on the world if you just get through it. and a few people remember your name. Then you left them on. You don't have to bend the whole world. I think it's better to just enjoy it. Pay your dues and enjoy it. If you shoot an arrow and it goes real high, Hooray for you. Another movie that I found interesting throughout LGBTQ films is Brokeback Mountain that came out in 2005. This movie played a part in the less ending homophobia in America. I think this movie is important because it's eye-opening to people that may be close-minded to the society that they live in. It shows that situations like this happen in society and you don't have to hide it. shot thing we got going on here. It's nobody's business but ours. You know I ain't queer. Me neither. While doing my research, I found a Hulu series called The Bisexual. It came out in 2018. The show goes into depth about a woman's life who is bisexual and trying to figure out her life as she is new to her sexuality. The show gives insight into real life situations that can be relatable to members of the LGBTQ community. I didn't know shows like this existed, but I'm glad I came upon it. I think shows like this should be on actual TV so more people can be aware of it. And as a society, we can relate to each other together. Google that guy you're living with. You know, if he weren't white and straight, you would be impressed. If he wasn't white and straight, he wouldn't have written a book called Testicular. This is my friend Dennis. 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 Forget it, man. Sometimes I think if a guy had swept me off my feet, I would have gone the path of least resistance. I'd have been straight. Bisexuality is a myth. It was created by ad executives to sell flavored vodka. The Bisexual, coming soon to Channel 4. I believe that watching LGBTQ shows and movies can help educate yourself more and create a better understanding of the community. I'm grateful that I was able to find such great entertainment while researching this project and I hope that you can find something that you like as well.